Day 6 Flanges and Bolting This is the 6th topic in ASME 31.3 Awareness course. In this course, uh, previously we have covered uh, introduction, material requirements, pressure design, piping loads and welding and joints. In this topic, we are going to cover these 3 subtopics, flange types, facing, bolting requirement and torque values, gasket selection and installation. As always, we will start with the safety talk. Then after covering these three subtopics, we'll have a quiz where we'll have 20 MCQ questions uh, where along with correct answers, we'll have the explanations also. And in the end, we'll see what subtopics we are going to cover in day seven. So this is all about uh, uh, subtopics which we are going to cover in this session. So let's begin. Let's welcome Peter who will be explaining us these three subtopics. So let's begin with the safety talk first. Hello everyone. Today we'll discuss electrical safety in hazardous areas to ensure a safe working environment. Intrinsically safe equipment in hazardous areas use only intrinsically safe electrical equipment. This equipment is designed to prevent sparks or heat that could cause ignition. Ignition. Lockout slash tagout procedures during maintenance or repairs follow proper lockout slash tagout procedures. This ensures that electrical circuits are de-energized before work begins. Safety interlocks do not override safety interlocks or bypass protective, protective devices. They are there to keep you safe and prevent accidents. Keep flammable materials away. Keep flammable materials like liquids, gases, or dust away from electrical equipment. Flammable substances near electricity can be extremely dangerous. Inspections regularly inspect electrical connections and cables for any signs of damage or wear. Damaged cables can lead to electrical accidents. Seek qualified help. If you are unsure about electrical work, always seek guidance from qualified personnel. Don't take risks with electricity. It can be deadly. Electrical safety is crucial in hazardous areas. By following these guidelines, we can prevent accidents and create a safer workplace for everyone. Hello and welcome back to our 30-day beginner course on ASME B31.3. Today, we're diving into a crucial aspect of piping systems, flange types and facing configurations. Flanges play a vital role in connecting piping components and facilitating easy assembly and disassembly. Let's explore different types of flanges and their facing configurations. Slip-on flange, this flange slips over the pipe and is then welded in place. It's suitable for low-pressure applications. Weld neck flange, with a long tapered neck, this flange provides a transition for fluid flow and is ideal for high-pressure systems. Blind flange, used to close the end of a pipe or vessel, this flange prevents flow and is commonly used during maintenance. Lap joint flange, paired with a stub end, this flange allows for easy dismantling and is often used in systems requiring frequent maintenance. Threaded flange, with internal threads, this flange can be screwed onto the pipe end. It's suitable for low pressure applications. Socket weld flange, this flange is directly welded to the pipe end, providing good strength and fluid flow. Facing casing configurations, flange facing refers to the contact surface between flanges. Raised face, RF, offers a tight seal, flat face, FF, is used for low pressure systems, and ring type joint, RTJ, provides excellent sealing in high pressure applications. Flange ratings, flanges are rated based on pressure temperature combinations. Different materials and sizes have specific ratings to ensure safe and reliable operation. Understanding flange types and facing configurations is crucial for selecting the right flange for a specific application, ensuring a leak-free and secure connection. That wraps up today's video. In our next topic, we'll explore bolting requirements and torque values. So, stay tuned and keep learning.
Hello and welcome back to our 30-day beginner course on ASME B31.3. Today, we're delving into an important topic, bolting requirements and torque values. Bolting is a crucial aspect of assembling flanged connections, ensuring a secure and leak-proof joint. Let's explore the key points. Bolting, bolts are fasteners used to connect flanges, holding them together and creating a seal between the two surfaces. Bolt materials, high-strength materials like alloy steel are commonly used for bolts to withstand the loads and pressures in piping systems. Preload, bolts are initially tightened to a specific tension, known as preload. This preload maintains the integrity of the joint even under operating conditions. Torque values, torque refers to the rotational force applied to bolts during tightening. Proper torque ensures adequate gasket compression and prevents leaks. Importance of torque, applying the correct torque is crucial to achieve proper gasket compression. This compression ensures a reliable seal that prevents fluid leakage. Factors affecting torque, the type of gasket, flange material, and the presence of lubrication can impact the torque required for proper sealing. Flange Manufacturer's Recommendations It's important to follow the torque guidelines provided by the flange manufacturer to ensure proper sealing and joint integrity. Bolt Tightening Sequence Bolts should be tightened in a specific sequence to ensure even distribution of load and stress across the joint. Proper torque application Applying the right amount of torque is essential to avoid both over-tightening, which can damage components, and under-tightening, which can lead to leaks. By understanding bolting requirements and torque values, engineers can create reliable and leak-free flanged connections in piping systems. That concludes today's video. In our next topic, we'll explore gasket selection and installation. So, stay tuned and keep learning. Hello and welcome back to our 30-day beginner course on ASME B31.3. Today, we're focusing on an essential aspect, gasket selection and installation. Gaskets play a vital role in creating a secure and leak-free seal between flange faces. Let's dive into the key points. Gaskets, gaskets are materials placed between flange faces to ensure a proper seal. Gasket types, there are various gasket types, including spiral wound, ring joint, and sheet gaskets, each suitable for specific applications. Factors for gasket selection Selecting a gasket, factors like temperature, pressure, media being transported, and flange facing must be considered. Proper installation The correct installation of gaskets is crucial to achieving effective sealing and preventing leaks. Flange preparation, flange faces should be clean and smooth to provide a proper surface for the gasket to seal against. Tightening bolts, gradual and even tightening of bolts is important to ensure a uniform pressure distribution across the gasket. Caution against over-tightening, over-tightening bolts can damage gaskets or flanges, leading to potential leaks. Importance of gasket quality, high-quality gaskets ensure reliable performance and a longer service life. Gasket compatibility, ensure that the selected gasket material is compatible with the transported fluids and process conditions. Post-installation checks, after installation, important to verify proper gasket alignment and bolt tightness. Proper gasket selection and installation are crucial steps to ensure the integrity and reliability of piping systems. That wraps up today's video. In our next topic, we'll explore piping flexibility analysis. So, stay tuned and keep learning.
Thanks, Peter, for detailed explanation on uh, flanges and bolting. We had a very good safety talk, then explanation to these three topics. Then we had a quiz of 20 MCQs along with the correct answer and explanations. So this was all about day six uh, content. On day seven, we'll be discussing piping flexibility and supports. We'll follow the same format, safety talk, then three subtopics, then a quiz, and we'll talk about the next day topic. So thank you very much. Thanks, Peter, and uh, see you in the next part.